Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our uh, little instructional video here for uh, how to uh, uh, produce the uh, first part of your APA style literature review. So uh, part one of the paper, what you're looking at here of course is our uh, home page here on uh, our Canvas course page and it's going to look just a little different than yours because this is the instructor view here but it's pretty similar to yours but I need to keep it on the instructor view so I can show you some things here. So where is the AP Literature Review module? Well, if you're looking at this, you already know where it is, but it's uh, you have to scroll all the way down uh, past all the units there. So unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four, and then our last unit there, unit five. And underneath unit five there, and by the way, part of the reason I put it there after unit five is that as we progress further in the course, you're going to find it easier to just uh, go to the end past all the units there because that's when the last part of your paper is going to be due there too by the time you're working on unit five there. So you can see a little header here which has some embedded due dates there. So if you're looking at this and it doesn't match your current semester, uh, don't worry about that. You'll find the actual due dates there uh, as you look at the actual APA Literature Review module on Canvas. I do update those for every semester. So this is just what I'm recording for right now this current uh, spring semester that we're working on. but. No worries if it's not the spring semester. But if you scroll down a little bit here, uh, you'll see where it says instructions and submit for a component one. That's part one of your paper there. We're going to go ahead and click on the instructions for part one. Let that load here. And uh, once this uh, loads here, you'll see uh, a due date there as well. And then the first section here is about choosing your literature review topic. Now, as it says clearly in the instructions here, it must be a topic found in social psychology. So make sure you don't submit a paper that has a topic on things like mental illness, drug use, infant cognition, etc. Those are not social psychology topics and they are not really suitable for your literature review paper. Uh, what are some topics in social psychology? Well, I put a link here uh, for uh, topics in social psychology. That's a word file there. Let's go ahead and just take a look at that. So if you click on that link, it'll ask you if you want to open it in Microsoft Word, then you'll just see a very simple list alphabetically here of different topics in social psychology, aggression, altruism, attitudes, attraction, et cetera, there, conformity, uh, discrimination, eyewitness testimony, which is a cool topic, uh, gender, happiness, you know, et cetera, there all the way uh, down till you get to the very end where it just points out uh, stress. Okay, so all those topics are legitimate there. However, if you want a more in-depth presentation of topics in social psychology, which I would recommend, especially if you haven't had a social psychology course, you might want to take a look at this link I put up here for our free online social psychology textbook. And that way you can actually look at a textbook and you'll be able to drill down a bit into some topics you think might interest you and see if that's something you might ultimately want to write a paper about. So if you click that link there to the free social psychology textbook, this is what you're going to see. You want to scroll down a little bit to where it says read the book and click that. And then you'll see the actual book itself. Uh, you just have to click this uh, contents tab right here. Then you can see all the chapters, one, two, three, etc. If you go ahead and just click the plus sign there, for example, the chapter on aggression, it expands it. Then it just brings you to a particular section. So if you click any of those, it'll just uh, show you what an actual textbook would typically look like and the information there. So that's a really great way to get yourself more uh, sure of what you want to cover as far as a topic. So I would highly recommend you do that uh, just in case you haven't already taken a social psychology course. Now, if you scroll down just a little bit further in the instructions, I go on to say that you must include a, a thesis statement. That is simply, you need to tell me uh, not just what topic you're going to address, but how you're going to address that topic. And so I give you some examples here in the bold faced with italics and quotes around them here. So just take a look at those so you get a pretty good sense. It's just that you need to drill down a little bit into your topic there. So don't say, I'm going to cover aggression. I'm going to cover altruism. I'm going to cover the topic of love. Well, those are like thousand page papers. <laughs> you can write whole books on those. So you need to kind of go ahead and narrow it down a little bit just so I know what you're going to uh, cover. Additionally here, you need to include uh, 10 references from academic publications and journals, and they must be in correct APA format. So things from newspapers and magazine articles, books and psychology related websites, those are not academic publications nor journal articles, that is pieces of research, so they're not acceptable for your use as part of those uh, 10 references. 
As I go on to say, you are allowed to include such, such types of sources, if you will, as long as you have at least 10 references that are from academic publications or journals. So if you have at least 10 pieces of research you're going to use as references, that's great. And then you can include things like something from Time Magazine or Newsweek or a local newspaper, a YouTube video, whatever you want. But meet that minimum of 10 and you'll be okay. Uh, I do have a link here to available databases that you can use from the Fresno City uh, College uh, website, so you can take a look at that as well. And also there's some uh, there's information there in your pocket guide to APA style. You'll find a link to that in the MindTap module, the ebook link, and if you have a print version, it'll be in the back of your textbook there. So I do reference uh, you know certain chapters out of that pocket guide to help you out there, especially chapter four. You might want to take a look at there, but just for clarity here, what you're going to submit and turn in, you're going to turn in your topic, which you should state as part of a thesis statement, as I just described above there, and your list of 10 academic peer-reviewed uh, articles to help you out there. Now, I've also included a completed sample submission so you can review uh, what everything should uh, look like, including the format of your 10 references in APA style, so use that as a model for your own submission. So let's go ahead and there's a link right here. And also uh, there's in chapter nine of the Pocket Guide to APA Style, there's a couple of sample papers. The one you especially might want to see is the first one. It's, it's called Beyond Birth Order. And uh, look at the last pages there of that paper. That will show you a completed uh, uh, sample of a reference page for your uh, own references there. Let's take a look at the sample statement and uh, 10 references. So again, if you click that link to the sample thesis statement and 10 references, you can see the statement up here at the top and then references, and then you'll see 10 of them all uh, listed here. And those are all in proper uh, APA style. I've got more to say about that in the instructions, or, but just so you can have a model to work for them from uh, check it out. Now, uh, also here too, uh, if you want to uh, find where do I find research articles, well, you have access on the Fresno City uh, website there to uh, access research databases. So uh, if you use the link below here to uh, link to the uh, library website, let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. So if you click that library link, this is the page you're going to be brought to and uh, scroll down a little bit here. And you'll see uh, all these yellow buttons here. Uh, one here in particular, um, articles, research databases you might want to check out. And also over here where it says research help, uh, research guides will be helpful there uh, too. So uh, additionally there as well, uh, if you click that uh, research guides button that I just showed you there, uh, there's a section there, plagiarism and citation help link. You might want to take a look at that. There's a section there. You just click this red tab, as it says here, for citation help, and you'll see that red tab there. Um, that will help you uh, find how to uh, put your uh, references in APA uh, style. There's an online writing lab. It's called the OWL, or the OWL for short. It's very, very helpful. You may have seen that in some of your other uh, courses there, uh, too. Now, I've also put another article in here as well, another file, I should say, um, on APA style and peer-reviewed articles. Here's the link for it right here. That'll give you some additional detailed information on how to find those databases I just told you about there and how to actually use them and especially how to format your references using uh, correct APA style. So there's real specific information about using one database in particular that'll really save you, as I say here, loads of time. So you might want to check that out. Let's take a look at that file link there. So when you click that link, it's going to ask you if you want to open it as a Word file. Just say you want to open it, and then you'll see the actual Word document here. And so just take a look here at this, and you'll see some information there and um, how to get to that uh, data, the database is there on the Fresno City website. And one that they recommend in particular here, um, Academic Search Premier, also known as EBSCO. And I tell you how to use that to make sure that you only find uh, peer-reviewed uh, articles. There's simply a little box you have to uh, check there and by checking that little box you'll see there uh, when you get to that database it'll make it really easy for you to find those academic peer-reviewed articles so you don't have to worry about is my research article here of the caliber that's needed for uh, the paper that you have to ultimately write. So uh, definitely take a look there. I just walk you through so follow all those directions there which may seem like a lot but I also tell you how to uh, use the database website there to generate um, a citation for you and actually show you how to uh, get everything in proper APA format there. So do take a look at that there and uh, you'll, you shouldn't have uh, too much problem there. 
And if you scroll down just a little further here, you also see I've got an embedded file here um, for a rubric that is how uh, points are going to be assigned. And really here, I detail how you're going to lose points if you don't have things in proper APA style and format there. Let's go ahead and just uh, click this one open here and preview it. Let it load here. And if you scroll down here, I just have some real helpful tips here and make sure, you know, you've got 10 references in correct APA format. I just list off some real basic things about APA format and style with your list of 10 references. Again, if you look at the samples in your pocket guide to APA style and the one I provided for you above in the instructions there, you'll see what they're supposed to quote unquote look like. That will really help you out a lot. So just make sure you take a look. Because down here at the bottom, you'll see uh, point deductions and how you're going to lose potentially a lot of points if you don't have some of these things in order. And that may seem tedious, but this is APA style. This is what you have to do, and you all need to learn it if you're going to go on in psychology. So I'm really actually uh, helping you out by making you learn this now if you haven't learned it before. So uh, definitely uh, make sure you follow uh, the, the details of that formatting, and you won't lose uh, any points there. Now lastly here, I do uh, reference some of the chapters in your pocket guide to APA style that you might want to take a look at, and I tell you why in the instructions. So just take a look at those and uh, see if uh, any of those uh, might apply to you there and might help you out. So uh, uh, definitely take the time to read the instructions, and hopefully you're not waiting to the last minute, and you'll have plenty of time to incorporate those so you can earn the most points possible. And again, don't pay attention to any of the due dates that you may see listed in this video here because I'm just recording this during a particular spring semester and otherwise you'll see the proper due dates there listed in the instructions for whatever semester you are enrolled in. Okay? Alright, well that's it and I hope this helps you out.